For over 10 years, I've led the fight to strengthen protections at the ballot box. Kemp says the law is aimed at preventing voter fraud, but opponents say it's less about voter protection than voter suppression. The new law does expand early voting days statewide, but also enacts stricter ID requirements on absentee ballots, reduces early voting for runoff elections, and makes it a crime to deliver food and drink to people waiting in line. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so that you always know when we have brand new content so you won't miss a thing. Make sure that you guys leave some messages in the comment section and let me know what you think about some of the content on today's show. Random things you need to know. Hey, if you're at YouTube, welcome back. If you are at BitChute and you are subscribing, hey, bro, welcome. How are you? How you been? I'm good. Glad to see you. I'm glad you're back. See, when you, when you subscribe to us at BitChute, you get a little extra message, so go subscribe at BitChute today. All right. I am Mark Elias, and I'm upset. I'm upset. Um, this happened in Georgia today. Several Democrats are speaking out, saying this new legislation disenfranchises voters of color, especially, but others, including Governor Brian Kemp, say these measures are necessary to protect Georgia's elections. Back up. Get out of, get out of Under what law are you arresting her? As Georgia Governor Brian Kemp signed SB202 into law on the other side of the door, Democratic State Representative Park Cannon argued for transparency. Minutes later, she was led out of the Capitol and arrested. Reaction is now pouring in. Senator John Ossoff took to Twitter saying he stood by Cannon. He also took aim at the Senate bill she was protesting. He said in part, tonight Georgia's legislature passed a bill brazenly intended to make it harder for Georgians to vote. Among its outrageous provisions, it criminalizes giving water to voters who are waiting in line. It's no wonder Governor Kemp hid behind closed doors while he signed it. The bill was Republican sponsored and according to Governor Kemp, designed to make it easy to vote and hard to cheat. He says the changes are needed despite finding no evidence of widespread fraud in the presidential election. Among the highlights, the bill allows state officials to take over local elections boards. ID would be required to both apply for and return an absentee ballot. The amount of time voters would have to request an absentee ballot would shrink from the Friday before election day to 11 days out. The use of ballot drop boxes would be limited. Well, I'm pretty upset. According to Reuters, a coalition of civil rights group has filed a federal lawsuit challenging Georgia's sweeping new voting restrictions, arguing that the Republican-backed law is intended to make it harder for people, particularly black voters, to cast ballots. Among other limits, the law imposed stricter identification requirements, limited drop boxes, and gave lawmakers the power to take over local elections and, short and shortened the early voting period for all runoff elections. It also makes it a misdemeanor for people to offer food, oil, and water to voters waiting in line. The legislation has alarmed Democrats, who just months ago celebrated historic wins in the presidential election and two Senate campaigns in Georgia that helped deliver the White House and U.S. Senate control to their party in Washington. A complaint was filed in Atlanta federal court just hours after the legislation became law on Thursday by the New Georgia Project, Black Voters Black Votes Matter Fund and Rise Inc. by Mark Elias, a Democratic lawyer who spearheaded the party's election legal efforts last year, is representing the groups. These provisions lack any justification for their burdensome and discriminatory effects on voting. Instead, they represent a hodgepodge of unnecessary restrictions that target almost every aspect of the voting process but serve no legitimate purpose for compelling state interests other than to make absentee early and election day voting more difficult, especially for minorities. Other Republican-controlled state legislatures have, are pursuing voting restrictions in key battleground states, including Florida and Arizona, after former President Donald Trump repeatedly blamed his loss to Joe Biden on massive voter fraud without evidence. Republicans have defunded the legislation as necessary, I'm sorry, has, de has defended the legislation as necessary to make our elections fair and secure, as Georgia Governor Brian Kemp put into, went, said when he signed the law on Thursday. The Democrats and voting rights advocates decried the restrictions 
which, I mean, I'm sorry, decreed the restrictions, uh, which passed the legislature solely with Republican support as a revival of racially discriminatory voting laws that will harm voters in minority communities, which are already plagued by long lines and inadequate election infrastructure. So long lines and inadequate infrastructure, voting infrastructure are racist in the black community. When you go into rural areas and there are lack of infrastructure and it's long lines, it doesn't matter. This is very interesting. I actually happen to have the Georgia law, the new voting law, right here in my face, actually. Um, I went and I looked up the section about water. I actually went to the Georgia Voting Omnibus Senate Bill 202. That's what it's called, LC 280325, in case you want to look it up. Um, I'll put a link to where I'm looking at the bill at, too, so you can go and review it for yourself. It says right here about the drinks, right? This is what it says. No person, no person shall solicit votes in any manner or by any means or method, nor shall any person distribute or display any campaign material, nor shall any person give, offer to give, or participate in the giving of any money or gifts, including but not limited to food and drink to an elector. Nor shall any person solicit signatures for any petition, nor shall any person other than the elected officials discharging their duties establish or set up any tables or booths on any day in which ballots are being cast within 150 feet of the outer edge of the building within, a, within which a polling place is established also within any polling place or within 25 feet of any voter standing in line to vote at any polling place. These restrictions shall not apply to conduct occurring in private offices or areas which cannot be seen or heard by such electors. I'm trying to figure out here, how is that racist? What about that is a problem? Almost many, I, I know in Illinois, we have a law where you can't be handing out stuff to voters you can't be handing out stuff to people in line waiting to vote you can't be handing out stuff you got to be so far away from the polling place why is it that this is now a problem and one of the things that seems to be really be a big issue here is the is the idea of identification when you're voting now what i don't understand is is it just me is it just me or does it seem like the democrats are trying to do maybe one of two things one try and tell the black community you're stupid. Oh, woe is you. You don't know how to get a license, so let's make it easier for you to vote because you don't know how to go and get, not, not a license, an ID. Forget a license, an ID. You don't know how to get an ID, so you're dumb. I don't understand that. If this isn't the most racist and disrespectful thing to say to black people, almost every black person has an ID. If they don't have an ID, it's because they're either children incarcerated or they're incapacitated at the moment and they probably can't move but everyone has an ID you know you got to go to the liquor store you need an ID there you have to go to the aid office you have to need an ID there um, typically when you buy things depending on the amount you're gonna need an ID for that you're gonna need an ID for when you get pulled over by the police hopefully I'm hoping that many of you have IDs I don't hear too much about blacks driving without IDs I hear about insurance but not IDs so I'm trying to hit figure out who are the blacks that don't have IDs? And who are these blacks that don't, don't know how to get to the, to the DMV or to get an ID? This is similar to a case that was done by a, a, a guy in New York. He did this. Do you have an opinion on voter ID laws? Uh, yeah, they're usually pretty racist and <laughs> they're bad. I think voter ID laws are a way to perpetuate racism. Would you, say they're, would you go as far to say they're, they're, those laws are racist? For sure. Do you think it suppresses the uh, African American vote? Definitely. Tell, tell us how. Uh, because they're less likely to have state IDs. Minority voters are less likely to have the kinds of IDs that have been um, described or required. These type of people don't live in areas with easy access to DMVs or other places where they can get identification. You can always get IDs um, you do over the internet. Does that also would make it difficult for, for black people in particular? Yeah, you have to have access to the internet. You have to be able to pay an internet service provider for certain fees. Do you think that's harder for black people to go online? Well, I feel like they don't have the knowledge of how, of like, how it works. Like, a lot of people have smartphones, but you might not have data. For most of the communities, they don't really know what is out there just because they're not aware or like right. they're not informed. I also think there's a repression of like black voting with um, how they, how if you're a convicted felon, like you're not allowed to vote and everything. And when you look at swing states like Florida, that's a huge population of the of the like African Americans. No, oh, that's ridiculous. 
Now I'm here in East Harlem to ask black people their thoughts on what you just heard. Do you have ID normally? you carry ID around? Yes, I have state ID. Do you carry ID? Yes, I do. Do you know anybody, who, any black person who doesn't carry ID? No. Everyone that I know has an ID. Why would they think we don't have ID? <laughs> That's a lie. Why would they say that? Do you have ID? Yes. Because I have my ID and my friends have their ID, so like, we know what we need to carry around. Everybody that I know have ID. Like, that's one of the things you need to walk around with New York with, an ID. Do you know any black adult who does not have ID? No, I don't. Is it a weird thing to even say that? Yes, it is. What is this, some, some type of uh, trick candy camera? I like know, that? right? <laughs> that's the only thing I brought with me. Those are legit, yeah. legit IDs. I heard a lot also that uh, black people can't figure out how to get to the DMV. Really? Is that, is that, what does that say to you? I know it's that, it's on 25th Street. Do you know where the ID, the, the DMV is right here? It's on 125th Street and 3rd Avenue, I believe. You know how to get there? Yeah. Do you have a problem getting there if you have to get there? No. Yeah. How do you, you know, how do black people feel about that? How do you feel about that? Now that you've seen that and you've seen what the white liberals think about you, you, you can't get an ID, so we should make it so that you can just vote without one. I just want you to think about that. So that's the first thing I think is going on. Or number two, they don't care about black votes. They just want people to, they just want you to be able to go out there and vote. And even if you don't vote, somebody will cast a vote for you. And who cares if it's you or not? Just vote for us. Because I guarantee you, if the shoe was on the other foot and the option was you can vote, or, 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 or Republicans were saying, yeah, we don't care about IDs to vote. They would be saying that it's racist because they don't care about your vote. They just care about cheating your vote. But when the Democrats do it, Okay, so this identification thing, I, I, I never get this. Why shouldn't you have identification to vote? Why should you not have identification to vote? One of the other things they talk about is they talk about disenfranchising black people by shortening the early voting times. So instead of it being from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., it would not be 7 a.m. to 5 p.m., but on voting day, it still would be extended hours to 7 p.m. Why is this a problem? Because you can't, I, I know right here, right now, we have early voting going on for our municipalities. Early voting ends at 4 p.m. What's the problem? <laughs> that many people are not off at that time. It ends at 4 p.m. So if it's Monday through Friday, if that's the time, then maybe on the weekends it's different. I don't know. I didn't see this information. Someone can help me out. Maybe you can put in the comments section tell me, is the information different on the weekends? Is the dates different? Is there a little more time? Is there less time? What, 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 maybe, maybe it's different for different places. I'm not sure. I just know that this bill says it all has to end at 5 p.m. for early voting. This is so ridiculous. I don't even understand. What, what are we trying to say here? So we're trying to say that African Americans work hours where they can't get in the vote between the hours of 7 p.m. To, to 5 p.m. This is ridiculous. Every time this voting stuff comes up, there's all these excuses for the, for the African American community. And there's always excuses that are not being promoted by African Americans. It's always some outside group or some progressive white or somebody coming in and saying, oh, well, look, look at the blacks. This is hurting them more than anyone else. And it makes me think, I wonder if black people even are affected by this. I wonder if the, if the mass population in Georgia of blacks are thinking, oh man, this affects us in so many ways, or if they're just thinking, well, this really isn't that big of a deal. I mean, I have an ID and I, I, I don't mind voting in between those hours, and if I can't, I'll just, I'll just go vote another day. I wonder who, who, who cares? And the water and the beverage thing, Jesus Christ. So what? You can't give out literature anyway. What, what is going on here? This is not racist. Once again, this is this is a bunch of people trying to push race onto us to divide us up more. Trump is out, so now Republicans are the new racists. They're, they're the new people that we have to call racists all the time for anything that they do. Biden is now going around saying that this is terrible and it's unconstitutional. There's nothing unconstitutional about having an ID to read. There's nothing actually. Not only is it not unconstitutional, there's nothing in the Constitution that states anything about identification, having it or not having it. So I don't know what Joe Biden is actually talking about. What an idiot. This is who you all voted for, right? This, this is who you all are so concerned about. You're concerned about politicians like him getting in or, uh, or the ability for them not to get in because, you know, we're making voting more, more legit. You're, you're concerned about these idiots not getting in and not smart candidates. You guys, leave some messages in the comment section. Tell me what do you think? Do you think, no, 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 Lorenzo, this is great. This is a good idea. We need to change these laws. But, but this is racist. This is racist because they're only trying to stop blacks from voting. Okay? 
Leave it in the comment section. Tell me why. I'll review. I'll review it. Or are you another person? Are you like me? Do you feel like this is not racist? We all should have IDs. I don't know why no one has an ID. What if something happens to you? You need an ID. And I think what really is racist is how whites keep telling and Democrats keep telling us that blacks don't have IDs. There are tons of African Americans with IDs. Please stop saying this about black people. This is the rudest shit I've ever heard. Of me. And I keep hearing it from Democrats. They don't have IDs. They, we don't need IDs. I swear. You know what I think you all are trying to do? You're trying to cheat. You want people to just come on in and vote and say that they're, and say that they're Lorenzo Tomas and you're like, oh, okay. You want me to walk in and say I'm Mark Elias and vote. And that's okay. <laughs> Fucking idiots. You guys, leave some messages in the comment section. I'll see you in the next one. And for on behalf of Mark Elias, since I'm him and the Democrats don't care if I show you any ID to prove I'm not, this is something that you need to know. Random Radio. Yeah, boy!